foggy. Happy Monday. I'm literally gonna get dressed and go to work right now, but I just want to intro this vloggy. I am also went to the city last Sunday and I have clips from that, so I'm gonna insert those clips here because I didn't have enough to make like an entire vlog out of it, but I didn't want those clips to go to waste, so insert that right vloggy. here. What is up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Do not mind my hair. I just woke up at a 720 on a beautiful rainy Sunday morning. I'm going to the city today, so I have to like get ready. I have no idea how I'm going to do my hair, especially in the rain. I might just claw clip it because it's going to get gross. Yeah, my plan for today at 10, I'm meeting, you guys know him from my college vlogs, my literal best friend, Eric. He's in the city. He's leaving at like 1 today, so we're going to get brunch. And um, I'm also meeting like his friends from home that I'm friends with, Olivia, Jen, and Nick. Um, I've known them for literally years, and I haven't seen Olivia, Jen, and Nick in a while. I, still, I don't even remember the last time I saw Eric. I know I'm seeing Eric next weekend too, but I couldn't pass up an opportunity when Eric was in New York City to not see him. Yeah, we're gonna clock with my hair. I'm gonna grab my clock clip. Especially with this rain, I was gonna straighten it, but I'm like, why would I straighten? my hair for it to frizz up you know what i mean i need to learn how to do like a tight claw clip i don't know how to do it i like them looser but literally claw clips have saved my life i'm not even kidding it's like my hair will be disgusting like it is right now and then i'll put a claw clip in and i'll feel like a million dollars i feel so much better than i did and then I'll usually like pull two pieces out in the front. This is the hair. I am going to throw in a little bit of makeup. Just in case you want to take pics. And obviously like I'm vlogging today. Yeah, I love the claw clip. My mom and my dad are like down at the beach right now. Just in like a little vacation. Um, and... My mom found this little boutique. Obviously, it's so important to support like, small businesses and everything. And my mom found this little boutique that had literally, I'll enter the picture here, like a wall full of claw clips that was like, oh my goodness, I need all of them. But obviously, I didn't get all of them. I got a brown one, a black one, and a sage green one. The one I have right now is like a speckled cheetah print color. It's actually my sister's. I stole it from her when i visited her in florida sorry carrie but then i i like accidentally stole it so then i um bet on her and i was like get yourself a new one but yes yeah, so i'm gonna show you what makeup i'm doing smashbox photo finish you guys know the drill and then for like face makeup i do fenty beauty and Too faced born this way concealer my staple rimmel stay matte and then i use Too faced bronzer tart blush and that's probably what i'll do okay here's my fit check this sweater is from Zara. It's cropped and I'm wearing like a camisole underneath it. This big trench coat I actually got from Nasty Gal. It's super warm and I thought it was perfect for the rain. And then I'm wearing these cargos from Brandy and then these boots from... I think I got them from Century 21 a while ago. But yeah, I'm super warm right now. I think this coat is perfect because it's actually... It's going to be 48 today but raining. So I don't need like a heavy down coat. But this is like perfect and it's so stinking cute and I it comes with a belt so I cinched it I'm obsessed I love it Eep. But yeah it's 7 50 right now my train's at 8 16 I'm gonna go downstairs and like get myself ready I also need to find an umbrella and this is the bag I'm gonna be taking vloggy I apologize for the lighting it is overcast right now but I am currently walking to the train station you guys could probably hear the birds chirping, but yeah, I might be late to the train, so I got a sprint, but I'll catch you guys on there. You've been in 
the vlog. I have? Yeah, remember when we went to PB Donuts? Like, size of finger. In never mind, I do remember that. Yeah. I forgot about that moment. Vlog. Vloggy, we are in New York City. I'm here with my favorite people ever. We got Nikki snack. Is back Jen and Olivia. Olivia has been in the vlog before. I don't know I don't if Jen that. has made an appearance, but here she is. And okay, I don't really know what's in this, but I just got a yogurt bowl. Nikki and Eric got the same. Jen, what did you get? I got fresh toast sticks. Those look, guys. Pumpkin spice. Just I did destroy those. them already, but they're gonna be good. <laughs> they look heavenly. And Olivia got a beautiful. It's so big. Is that hash browns on it? Yes. Did you know that? I did. And, like and tater tots. Mm -hmm. All right, but we're gonna eat now and. I don't know what we're doing after this, but it's raining, so I'll keep y'all updated, but we're gonna dig in. Oh wait, am I supposed to be looking here? If you look here, but then if you wanna double check yourself, you can look at the view behind there. I see. You wanna do a vlog takeover? Yeah. What's up, Ashenators? We are here on public transport. Incredible. <laughs> I like it. Nikki, do you want to do a fit check? Fit check for you? Or for me? For you. How much the fit cost? Alright, 20 bucks. 20 bucks. 80 bucks. 200 bucks. <laughs> Jen, fit check. Hey. Well, you have a um, good one. I'm in Lazy Oak. And I think Nasty Girl. And that's Love. about it. I like the, where's the tote bag from? Um, honestly, I don't know. Olivia got it for me as a kid. I don't know where it is from. Livy? I'll let you know, but I'll figure it out. Where's your fit from? This is from ASOS. My halter top is from H&M. And then my Air Forces. And these are from Target. Cute. And this is from a place in a bookstore. Portland. Yeah. You know, the iconic, uh, <laughs> That iconic bookstore book that I don't remember yeah. the name of. E. But we love her. She's so Jackie's dirty. from ASOS shirt. I don't know. Probably like Target. Um, pants are from Zara. And then these shoes I got on Reebok.com. Period poo. And I showed you guys my fit check before I left. Okay, now that we watched that, I'm gonna go get dressed and get ready for the day and leave my house so and it's also freezing so i'm like snuggled in this blanket <laughs> i don't want to wake up i'm so comfortable it's literally 5 55 and i'm usually like gone by this time but you know what it's fine okay vloggy here's the fit check this um shoulder pad shirt is from Babaton from Ritzia. This jacket is also from Ritzia. I love it. These pants are from Forever 21. They're so cute. And then I'm wearing my Converse. Yeah, that's really it. I'm gonna put earrings in and my necklace on. And it is 6:01. Let's go downstairs and make a coffee. I was gonna do a Celsius, but I'm just gonna do a coffee today. Here now in my kitchen. This is what I bring to work. I have this gluten free vegan banana bread from Trader Joe's. A seltzer to eat with lunch. Apple with peanut butter. You can never go wrong. I have these are like harvest snap peas. And I have this sea salt flavor. This is for after work because we're in the gym is right after. This is just Bill Bar. Bill Bar, if you're watching this. And then I have Triscuits and Garlic Non Crackers for I made a chicken salad last night with a rotisserie chicken and I put cranberries, walnuts, and celery in it so that's with the crackers and then I'll eat my apple peanut butter Lunch is packed now, it's coffee time, this is the cup I'm going to use and I think I'm going to froth my milk <laughs>
gonna listen to Young Boy's new sample tape. Walk on. If you guys want to do Drive With Me current place video, comment down below. Right, let's go to work. Vloggy, I just got out of work. It is so hot. I have this leather shacket on, but I'm actually gonna take it off. My car is reading 73. I don't remember the last time it was this warm. There is not a cloud in the sky, and I'm just gonna let my car heat up, so don't mind the AC. Um, yes, so for those of you guys that are new here, I work a seven to 3.30, I don't work a nine to five. I like it better because I can like go to the gym after and I'm not super tired, like right now it's 3.42 and I'm just getting out. And you guys, I have an ice cold um, polar pomegranate seltzer that I'm going to crack open and chug. I'm so thirsty. I love like polar LaCroix bubbly on like a warm spring day. But yes, I'm going to plug my phone in, drive home. We got spin tonight at 5.15. I, today was so stressful, I need to sweat it out. You guys, if you guys are into this type of stuff, skip over, but I'm gonna talk sneakers with you guys. So if you guys are into like sneakers, the sneaker game, you guys know the sneakers app and you guys know like the confirmed app confirms for Adidas, the sneakers app is for Nike and whenever like off-whites drop, Jordan ones drop, dunks drop, they all release on the sneakers app. So I usually enter and it's a raffle base. So you enter the raffle, put your credit card in and your size and if it's your turn and they have your size, you are charged and if they don't, you're not charged and it's extremely hard to get because again, people bought these sites and I've only won on sneakers like twice, but I won last week. I am so happy. I got the Nike off-white blazers. A lot of people do not like these, but I love this colorway and I'm very happy I was able to get my hands on it. They did come out with like a UNC colorway as well and it was like a red, cream, yellow, and blue, but those kind of look like clown shoes, but I loved this colorway. It's black and lime green. I cannot wait to style these. I think I'll just wear them with like an all black outfit. And I was very happy to get my hands on these because these were the first shoe to release after Virgil passed. And this is like one of the last shoes that he was ever designed. So I'm very happy to finally have a off-white shoe in my seeker collection. The box it comes in, again, it's a collab with Nike. So it has the Nike swoosh and then it has the off-white tissue paper. And again, these are the blazer lows. I got them in a seven and a half. And then again, it says off-white on this side of the box. Again, a lot of you guys probably don't like these, but everyone has different tastes. These are what they look like. My favorite part is the back. There's like a little wing. I think it adds so much like depth into the shoe and it's so different and it matches the laces. So these off-white does these laces a lot they do it on like their lot dunks um but they're just green they say shoelaces it has the off-white tag a lot of people cut this tag off i will not be doing that and then there's black shoelaces that say shoelaces and then the tongue says nike off and yeah i got a men's seven and a half and then on this side it says off-white for nike blazer lows i'm so excited to style these a lot of people don't like them because of the wing but Again, I thought the wing added something different to the shoe that has never been done. And I think Virgil's like a very creative person. So again, if Virgil Abel likes it, I love it. So those are the shoes I got. I'm so excited. I had to share it with you guys because it was a big score for me. The only shoes I've been able to get for retail are my Yeezy 500 blushes my Nike Dunk Golden Rods, and Nike Dunk Pandalos, and these now. So I've had four scores for retail, but every other shoe I have, like the majority of my Jordan ones, I did pay resale for, which I'm fine with paying resale for some stuff, but like, again, some prices like crazy. So especially getting off-whites for a retail price is insane because off-whites only go up in value, especially now with the tragedy of Virgil's passing, like he's, he, obviously someone's gonna take over the creative portion, but it's just not gonna be the same. You know what I mean? So yeah, those are the shoes I got. I don't know if I'm gonna wear them just yet because 
I need to like think of a like a perfect outfit to go with it and I need to browse so yeah it is 4.38 right now I'm going to change for the spin class I'm going to is at 5.15 so I'm going to leave her at like 4.50 which means I have 10 minutes to do nothing okay you guys here's what I'm wearing to my workout class I'm going to turn my light on I literally have to leave right now but these leggings are from Fabletics I love their workout leggings they're so comfortable and then this sports bra it's in this green color you guys know green is my color it is actually from Target I will try to link it down below, but I got it in store, and I think it was $16.99, and I literally want to go back and get every color, because I love wearing sports for us to spin, so I don't have to worry about a shirt, but some sports for us go so short that I'm, like, uncomfortable wearing them, but this just shows, like, a little bit of skin, but it's, like, also perfect, because it makes it look toned and fit, and yeah, I'm gonna put deodorant on, brush my hair, and let's leave, because I really need to go, it's $4.49. I was listening to Pedestrian by Gunna. Vloggy, I am so sorry. I left my camera at home and I didn't get any B-roll at the gym, but I'm at a spin, clearly. I sweat so much. There's also a GNC a few towns over for me and I was out of my Celsius and Alani New and GNC sells Alani New, so I got four Breezeberry because I have, I think, three of the peach vibe Celsius. I don't drink these every day, but I already know that tomorrow morning is going to be an Alani new morning over coffee but right now I'm going to go to ShopRite I don't know if you guys have a shop right near you but it's in New York and New Jersey because I love Belvita bars they're so like easy for the morning because at 5 30 I'm not super hungry but it fills me up and I also am still obsessed with the Emily Mariko salmon rice bowl and I'm out of my microwave sticky rice and they sell it there so I'm gonna get as many boxes as they have there and I also might get shrimp for dinner. I want to make like tacos. So I might make grilled shrimp tacos. That sounds really good with like some mango salsa and this like cilantro slaw. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Don't mind me on my What's Up Dog Pluto shirt. I'm gonna go in the shower. I forgot to show you guys my dinner, but I just had ground turkey. I don't want to spend that extra money because I already had ground turkey. Um, but I had like a little taco bowl. It was so good. It is 8.05 and we're gonna hop in the shower. I'm gonna show you guys like my little skincare routine and I've been on a book kick. So I'm gonna show you guys my favorite books that I've been getting into. But yeah, let's go shower. I don't know about you guys, so I worked out at 5 something, and then I went to the grocery store, came home, ate dinner, and now I'm just about to shower, but I sweat so much at the gym that now I'm like cold, if that makes sense, because I stopped sweating, but yeah, I'm gonna take a nice hot shower, and I need to go to bed early, so I think I'm gonna like read for a little bit, but I'll obviously show you guys everything. I know I show this in a ton of my videos, but... These are the two shampoo and conditioner I use. It has not changed. It's the coconut milk herbal essences. It's so good, you guys. And then for body wash, I just use plain old Dove. And then I have these Tangle Teaser scalp exfoliators that are so good because I have gel um, manicure. So sometimes I can't like scrape my head if that makes sense. See like all like the gross, sweaty, dandruffy stuff out. So I'll just go in with the um scalp exfoliator and thoroughly get everything out of my hair so it's a good wash and then my skincare bin is like overflowing but I got more makeup wipes so it's really good and then I got this new face mask which I might do tomorrow night it's from Neutrogena but then this is a skincare I use so I use this body lotion after I got out of the shower I still use Bath and Body Works I know we all do and then my skincare hasn't really changed I think I'm allergic to rose water because the Mario Badescu and the Fresh Rose face cream made me break out. So I stopped using those. I used the Herbivore Aquarius Pore Purifying Clarity Cream. This stuff is amazing, you guys, and it's lasted me so long. And then for my toner, I have the Caudalie Eau de Raison. And I think I actually might do a... I have this Lush face mask. It's the cup of coffee one, and it's so good, you guys. So I think I might, I think I might do this tonight or tomorrow. No, I'm gonna do the cup of coffee one tomorrow because it expires soon. 
And then I can show you guys like my hygiene too. But literally to brush my teeth, I just have an electric toothbrush. It's nothing crazy, but I love electric toothbrushes. Then I use this optic white. And this is a game changer, you guys. I found this on TikTok forever ago, but this is like the dentist formulated oral rinse. It's so good, but it's very strong. So I'll like put half a cap full of this and like mix it with like a splash of water and it makes it so much better. But yeah, I just normal for so long. Let's shower and then I might blow dry my hair so I don't get about with a wet head. Uh okay, vloggy, I haven't been home all day. So we're gonna my water bottle. This is the book I I know I'm late on the trend, but I just started it ends with us because my mom has been reading it and I'm for the first chapter I love it so far, but this is like what's next to read. I have reminders of him, which I'm so excited. I've heard so many good things. I want to read this book before the Netflix um, series comes out. Heard so many good things about from Sarah about this. And then I got this like fun beat read by Susan Mallory. So that's like my little stack of books. It's probably last me like a month or so. Then I'll go back to Barnes. But right now for like a little bit, we're going to do Laptop Club and watch some YouTube because I haven't been home all day. And then we're going to go downstairs probably at like... 9 15 9 30 and pack my lunch for tomorrow and then go to bed but yeah right now i'm just gonna catch up on youtube videos because it's like therapeutic for me i love watching like new content from all your people yeah that's what i'm gonna do right now